to Dominion's HR Toolbox. This month, our software spotlight is focused on our time and attendance feature. So in that spirit, today I'm going to talk about the six primary methods of tracking time and attendance. Some of these are going to be a little bit more effective than others, depending on the nature of your business. So choosing the right method of timekeeping for your company requires the consideration of a number of different variables. Some things to keep in mind are the cost of time theft, whether your employees have access to a computer, and whether or not they'll require hands-free punching. There is no single method that functions best across the board, but some definitely work better than others. That's why I'm going to cover the six methods, give you some pros and cons to each, and tell you the percentage of time theft that occurs annually for each device. The first punching method I'm going to talk about is an online web portal. This allows your employees to punch in and out on a computer through an employee self-service portal. This is one of the cheapest methods, but employees can easily fudge their hours worked and your supervisors have no way of verifying accuracy. Web portals actually make up almost half of all time theft that occurs every year at a shocking rate of 40%. As the second highest perpetrator of time theft, mounted wall clocks allow employees to punch in using a passcode. While these generally are less expensive than other devices, it is easy for buddy punching to occur. All one has to do is have a coworker punch in their code upon arrival at work and they're committing time theft. Mounted wall clocks contribute to 18% of all time theft that occurs. Paper forms work in a similar manner as the online web portal, but the information is written by hand and turned in directly to a supervisor, rather than inputted online. Not only does time theft still occur at 17% with paper forms, but this method creates a ton of work for all parties involved since the numbers will need to be manually entered and the risk of human error is significantly higher. The benefit of punching in on a mobile device is also the drawback. Employees can clock in from anywhere. This is really effective if you have employees who work from multiple locations, provided that they're honest about where they are and when they clock in. Mobile punching factors in at 10% of all time theft, so make sure you only offer this feature to employees you really trust. Paper punch cards are fairly efficient in the time theft department at only 5%, and they're a relatively inexpensive option to boot. The drawback here is that they reduce productivity due to the amount of time it takes to gather and input data. Although the price of biometric clocks is higher than the alternatives, they are still considered the most cost-effective option. The clocks work seamlessly with your time and attendance software, so there is little room for human error and you will save an incredible amount of time by not having to enter the punches in manually. Additionally, they only have a 3% rate of time theft, so they will almost always end up paying for themselves before long. There are other, more obscure methods of tracking employee hours, such as employees calling in on a hotline to clock in and out, but these are used infrequently and are often much more work than they're worth. The remaining 7% of time theft occurs with these methods. With Dominion Systems, we offer all options to you, so you can maximize efficiency and track time and attendance in the best way suited for your business. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.